Shut up and sit down. Hello gang and welcome to part 7 of the one fourth scale Valentino Rossi Yamaha YZR M1 build. So we've got a fair bit. We've got packs 12 and packs 13 have arrived which if I'm honest I didn't expect them to arrive because as you may all know and probably fed up with hearing about it but the world is currently on fire uh, so postal services and things like that have all been massively affected by global events so I didn't expect to see any of this but this episode is going to be quite a few stages of catch-ups we're on stages 44 45 and 46 first of all which is the swing arm axle rear shock absorber levers and fitting the exhaust then we move on to the radiator pipes detailing and lambda pro plugs hydraulic circuit parts and supports and fair leads so we end at part or stage number 50 so let's just a minute and have a looky low at what we got now we've inserted all the frame nuts and got both halves of the frame together so if you are following this on your pack 12 instruction I did the last uh, bits and bobs of putting the frame together in the last episode. So the swing arm axle and its nut and everything is just gonna be loosely done up by hand like so. And I'm gonna put the cover on and although we've opened it, it is gonna sit just to the side for the moment okay because we are going to be doing some other bits and bobs before this little bad boy goes on i'm just going to sit that there all right and we are going to be putting on some of the swing arm bits because although the instructions tell you to get that out of the bag you don't actually do anything with it at this stage and n and p nuts and bolts and odds and sods and all of that so we have got the linkage going in like so and we want to put a type n screw in there so we'll get this round the right way and it's got the curved section like so towards the front and then we want the longer piece to go in there like so and we want a type in to go in there so i'll probably be out with the old allen key and we can put that in just like so and give that a bit of a turny turny as you do yeah come on edward not now thank you Like that, that's it. You will go in. The resistance is futile. Okay. And I want that to have a bit of a bit of the old slackage going on. Okay. And then we've got the other one putting the lever inside under the shocker. So just turn that that way move me screwdriver and try not to wreck the Mustang kit which is sat just out of shot there because I've got more than one kit on the go because I can we'll grab ourselves one of those and that goes up in there like that 
and we drop that through the hole give that a bit of a a jiggle in the hope that we uh, can locate it and then once it starts to bite we can send it on its journey like that there you go like that see and uh, once you get a few turns on it the screw itself finds its way home just like that It's the world's crummiest Allen key, you know. I'll give them that. I'll just grab my. Uh, let's get the heavy furniture out. Because that was about as much use. Yeah. I think I've already said it. Too small. Pardon me. a bit better than what we had yeah but don't forget a lot of these fittings I've never never actually had anything go in them so you're gonna have a bit of tightness going on in a few spots that's why I nip these up just so that the, the the screw head go flush with the uh, component but not tight tight if that makes sense because you've got various layers of paint you've got the threads where everything has been painted anyway I mean you could run a tap through there I suppose but yeah this is me we're talking about and then tighten that so that it's free to move and then we want to put the gas cylinder on like so like that and then we line that up on the shock absorber or absorber because that's going to go in like that I know it's looking good in it it's looking more like a bike every minute folks Da, 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 da. Look at it. Good to it. Aye. And then that presses in like that. Aye. And then we have a bit of shock absorber or absorber. Get your words out. New teeth on aisle five. And then we figure out what one goes in there. Then got a feeling that's going to be an end. But they're saying that that stage is the stage complete. So they're obviously not wanting me to put the nut in here just yet. So we're keeping one P and one N. So they can go in the big bag of bits and bobs over there. Uh, we are now grabbing the next packet of goodies. So I'll just move my Allen keys out of the way. And it's gonna be this little bag of bad boys, and it's all for the uh, fitting of the exhaust. So that's that little bag of goodies. So yeah, let's leave them there for now and see what we got. Now it's telling us to grab the radiator. Conveniently, one assembled radiator, which is perfect because I can now move all them bags off of there. See, so we got our red, like so, and we want to put our little uh, little mounts on the radiator there. Now they are 
handed, so you've got a big hole on one side and a little hole on the other. Alright, so a bit of welly and they will go in like that. Yeah. See, big hole, little hole. See, with my powers of deduction, that'll be like that. Yeah. There you go. Just make sure that I've got that in the right spot. Bingo, see? And you got yourself your little mounts. Lovely, isn't it? See, so we got that. We then grab our exhaust system the box down there so we grab our exhaust and we've got our flexible hoses going on now so one goes under one goes over okay so we give it a bit of that like that and let's just make sure Probably bung a bit of super glue on these, I think. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how we go. Uh, that one goes under the way, according to the diagram. In case you're wondering, I've got my instructions are just to my screen above me there. Just there. All right, so if you see me jiggling about a little bit just off a shot or, or disappearing it's because I'm using the mouse to scroll through the instructions as I build with you so you know that's what I'm up to like that yeah see it's looking good though and then we do the same on the other side and then that one goes down and that one looks like it goes up Oh uh, yeah, like that. And then that one comes around the way by the look of it. We'll soon find out when we get the exhaust actually on the bike because these can move about if needed. So I'm looking at that and that's looking reasonably where it should be so so I think we can get a bit of that over like so and we're tilting the exhaust in to the holes on the manifold just like this or the theory being just like this so we might have to do a bit of jiggery pokery on the exhausts to line them up just like so that is a resounding beginning of a ping in place like that oh my god doesn't she look beautiful <gasps> yeah. Like that. So it's now telling me we've got this young bracket here is coming over and then up into the frame like that. Okay. So we have screws V, two of. And then one number s so we'll do v first and they are gonna be one into the frame over there yonder so i'll put them so that they bite through the frame first 
and then I can move the frame with the screws or the bracket with the screws into the, into the place that I want it to be which is going to be to there and then we want number or letter S one of those shorter ones that's then going to go in the last remaining hole under there like that get in there and then the old lot just turn that round is gonna sit just like that should now be stage or pack 12 fully complete see so that's the bike the exhaust and everything on and then we can start looking at uh, connecting up hoses and little sensors and, and all of that yeah it's looking like a bike isn't it and again, I can go round any of the tubes that have moved or I've clumsily knocked off. I can go round and just put back in place. So, pack number 13 is radiator pipes. We'll do that first. So we'll grab that pack of goodies. We've got a bracket there as well. So feeling that will be going on imminently the way so we have got I'll take the long oil pipe and mount it to the oil sump as shown so by powers of deduction or we turn that over And it needs to go up into this top section there, see, so it can only go one way. See, in like so. Alright. And that's that in place. And then the next one. Circle point at the bottom of the engine. And it's got a pin that comes out under there, like so. 
so the hole goes like so and that is them two pipes in and again they can only go in the one place and then you want your radiator rows to go on the front of the pump Edward scissor hands there see yeah don't be like Vesta try and get some hands that work always works well like that boom now put the rubber rows onto there and then fit the radiator bracket to the front with a K screw so obviously that's a K and that is under there like that and they say to put that in that screw there is going to be a, a tiny jiggle but I think we'll be all right to be honest with you that's going to go under there those two are going in there and then the rubber hose is going to go in there like that see so that's what we're going to end up with sound plausible yeah good I think we can put that in so I'm just going to put the hose on that I've noticed is hanging off there so I'm just going to quickly do that that's better yeah so let's try and get that in a position where you can see what I'm doing in the way there so Where was we? Oh yeah, there you go. We was going for those two in there, like so. Okay, let's do it that way, Colt. Because they are a snug fit. For that one. This is going well, isn't it? There you go, you can see what you're doing now, blind man. resounding click as that locks in there you go 
God, I made a bit of a faff of that, folks. I do apologise. So, let's figure out now. Connect corresponding parts. Top those and then uh, case screw for the bottom of that. So, I'm going to put that in first because I know what's going to happen. As soon as I pick it up, it's going to want to fly off. So, I ain't going to have that. It's not going to happen, mate. So I reckon we're going to have that, like that, going in there. We seem to have knocked the camera down there. I do apologise, folks. How's that? My bad. Like that. Cool. Uh, and then it's then saying to connect the top radios up under there and give that a bit of a bend. Apparently, you have to give it a bit of a welly, so we'll see. It seems to be conforming. Optimistically said. There you go. And it's just a matter of letting the pipe itself expand enough so that it then just rolls over the joint like that. Okay. And that should then let me put my pinky in there to get that bracket in place properly. Like that. I just want to turn that a bit so that when we mount the radiator to the frame it will then pull that pipe in place. But as you can see we're beginning to look very brum brummy. Uh, right, we want the tops with two of the screws now. So, let's just put the V screws down there. I only want two of them. And then we can start putting in these mounts for the red. So it's going to be right the way over there on that one and there on that one. So it is a tight fit. So I'm going to do the back one first to see whether we can pull the red over like that. Okay. I was told about this part that this was a bit of a dog to get the rad in and the hoses to stay where you want and I was chatting to a fella who's building this and he was full of his woes and disdain and he happened upon this particular way of doing it and he said well Give it a try, mate, and see whether it works for you, because that's what I did in the end. And it gave him enough tension with this, these hoses in place and that one, to then basically pull that right over and line it up, see? And, Gary, I must say, my son, genius. He said it's a little bit scary to do because you're really putting a bit of pressure on it. He said, but once that screw head drops in the hole like that, he said, just keep the pressure on all the way until the screw's bit. He said, 
So then just do it up flush, give it a little nip. And you, sir, are in. Now I can show you, see? That O's, it's got a nice curve in it. Like that, and it's pushed the bracket down, see, under there. Doing it that way. So if you're building this, I'll talk you through it again. Put your two hoses in. This one and do the nut up. Okay. Spin it upside down. Like that. Let's put that out of the way because it keeps falling off. Then pop your bottom hose in. Do all of the uh, connections. Pull it into place and then do this nut first and then that one and that will give you all of that like so so I'll just put this back on it's going to end up well I think with a bit of uh, a bit of the old super glue on it this piece because it does fall off quite often as you're turning the bike upside down and that and I'm a bit of a clumsy old so-and-so and, -so. and uh, yeah if anyone is gonna break something on this bike it will be me because that's just how I am yeah because yeah so I'm just gonna shove you out of the way for a minute because right see ho so let's drop that with a bit of the old gloop I think will go in there just to stop this from falling out all the time I'll probably regret it the minute I do it but hey who cares it's my bike can't do what I like there you go oh she does look sexy though doesn't she look Oh, yeah. Makes me want to take up my OGP now. <laughs> God, could you imagine that? Fester coming round the corner at Silverstone with his knee down. <gasps> what possibly could go wrong? <laughs> right, and then it just tells you at the end of step 47 that that's exactly how it should look, which it does. <sighs> right. We've now got some detail stuff with the Lambda probes, some rubber tubes, etc. So let's just move that over there and gather up the bits that I uh, can put in my bag of goodies because we're done with those. We got some tubage. Some lambda sensors and all kinds of goodies in there. Like that. Don't need that. Let's have a look at what delectable goodies we've got here then. Couple of them. One of them. This is all the lipstick and mascara stuff now. We got an R, an L, which I'll keep in the bag until we need them. Little clip there, which I've got feelings a hose clip. Another one there. And a couple of hoses. Look at that. Hey, see? Cool. Good, isn't we, eh? So we need to bring the frame out and spin it like that. Okay. And then we've got this little bracket going on to the side of the frame just there. Simple. Press fit like that. Okay. We've then got limit switches that will go 
into the left side of the frame. Switches are going into a round hole just in there, okay. And it's that obligatory square peg and round hole, yeah. So I'm gonna have to do a bit of judicious trimmage to get this in place. But I will succeed. Like that. Yeah. And it goes in. So just bear that in mind when you come across these. Because like me, I was looking at that thinking, that's a bit shoddy. Hey. So get your nippers and just try to cut it about there, like that, okay? And then that should then enable you to fit that in the frame, each side, like that. Sorted. Disaster averted. Yeah, strange little quirk in their design. And then there's a, a cover that goes in on the water pump side. This is getting uh, worrisome that so many bits want to move every time you you move the bike but you got this little nut cover like so and it goes in the frame okay in there like that just give it a bit of a prod and it'll go in all right like that Okay, and then we want 85 mil rubber pipes, and we want both of them at 85 mil. So let's just measure them. Yeah, they bang on at 85 mil, and then we want the lambda plugs on the end of it. Okay. There's one. Number two. All right. Okay. And we want the lambdas to go in the pins.
one up in there like that and the other one with the hole there's a little tiny hole there let's just show you in here and it's going in the pin just in there okay that's the theory anyway like that okay you can fit these off the bike if you want before you put the pin the plate on whichever way you choose to do it and whichever way it works for you okay and then we want to bring up the pipes from the exhaust and connect them to them okay so if you remember we had these at peculiar little angles so we can start ferreting them around now i'm just going to pull that one out a sec because it keeps wobbling and i'm going to super glue him in that one because he he pops out when i least expect it so i'm gonna shove you out of the way for a minute and do that one first and pop you on so you're gonna go in there like that Yeah, you will go on resistance is futile and then get me surgical grippers out and we can then grab you and put you back on like that <laughs> and then whilst I think of it my old china out with a super glue for this one because it's been a bit of a dog and uh, woof woof but you're going to get super glued because you fell off more than once and I know what will happen I'll put the fairing in and this thing will do its thing and fall off again and I'll call it all kinds of cow sons and names and me dummy will get thrown out and oh mate you know I'll have people unfriending me on Facebook and, oh mate I can't be doing with none of that not for the sake of a bit of super glue so let's just give that a, a bit of a, a turny pops actually I could put that in on first and then come down the way, couldn't I? That might make it easier for old Fester. Operative word been old. <laughs> yeah, you will you will go in. Yeah. I knew I'd end up getting these back out. Yeah, no shaking. Shaking isn't allowed. Go on, go on. I say you you, you want to mess me around, but it's not going to happen, is it? Because I've got a big burly friend who'll come over and he'll slap you, and then he'll run away. Like that, see? It knew. So that's that side happily done and dusted and we've now got a few hydraulic circuit bits to go in hey come on Bennett that was fun wasn't it yeah hope you're all nodding all right so hydraulic bits is what it's saying and I can see them in the bag there looking rather swanky let's put me ruler out the way and we're coming up to the penultimate bag now so you'll all be sitting there now going thank god for that he ain't stopped rattling on yeah i know don't be like fester 
Oh, note to self, one's fell down there on the keyboard. Hopefully the carpet monster is not thinking it can have it because it can't. Go away carpet monster. Another pipe. Fiber bracketry going on there with a couple of uh, little lambdas poking out. The hydraulic valve there looks like some kind of uh, pneumatics going on. Nut cover. Hydraulic. And we got a pipe. A longer pipe than them, so have you a bit of that. Right, <sighs> let's have you a bit of that now, I reckon the 50 mil is going on there. By powers of deduction it is. We good, ain't we, eh? Like that. Sometimes comes in really handy being an ambidextrous like this, you know, because yeah, we've then got that one coming down underneath the ninety-five mil pipe. Like that. And then we've got a 45 coming down on the top. Like that. Hey? Oh, he says. And then that all goes in there like so angled one at the bottom uh, that one at the top there you go told ya resistance is few oh mate and then you come up and down like that in a rather peculiar bend, I must admit. I'm amazed that many a yam hasn't uh, struggled with this pipe bend. Because it is a bit tight. And a bit... Yeah, I don't know. And that's a 45, isn't it? So we don't need that bit. And it comes down and clips behind there, according to the thing on the screen anyway. And then sits in there and it looks a bit crinkly crinkly. But I can assure you all that in the picture it looks exactly like that. Uh, that hydraulic pipe comes across there. And across there into those two holes like that and like that let's just grab that and make sure that that's home and it is like so yeah I know and she looked nice and then we want to send that pipe underneath the frame for now ready for it to find its home in another episode yeah. what have we got there we got that bracket 
to the left side of the frame. bag of goodies which is the supports and fair leads and uh, like I say I'm trying to keep these coming as much as I can but obviously with the global situation that we're facing kind of really don't know when the next delivery is coming because like I say um, it's all a bit iggledy piggledy at the moment so hopefully we can keep these regular but apologies if you're waiting on episodes because there's not a lot I can really do at this moment about that I'm afraid so I do apologise beforehand, but it's kind of beyond my control if I'm honest. So we have got to spin the frame round now to the other way. Like that. Facing down and the notch facing up. Okay, let's just make sure that we've got them lined up. That's it, you will go in. Hey. Right there. side of the frame and press the mid support into them yeah. and that's up by the, the clutch there it's fun but it's in it was just enough to be too much of a push fit but we got it in the end what have we got there on right side of frame yeah like so and small one onto the long giant black tube fitted in stage 31 yeah, right. Which is that one? Yeah, I know. It is a long one, isn't it? small fair lead on the long black tube fitted in a stage 31 and that goes on the back one yeah like that yeah you will go all the way along like that and then 
when you allegedly then go in there. It will fit. I can't call you can't not see that, mate. It's right in front of you. Book. There you go. Oh, dear oh dear. I am getting worse with my eyesight. Note to self, get eyes tested. And that should be that pretty much to where we are for this episode. So as we clear away, like I've said, I don't know when the next delivery is coming for this bike. Um, obviously as soon as it arrives, I'll film and post uh, the video up. But uh, like I say, I mean, what are we now? We're at the end of May. And this delivery was stuff. Oh, I think January. So, yeah. A little late across the board on everything <coughs> for it. But I think we can safely say, people, that this is now really beginning to look like a sizeable bit of motorcycle going on, in it? Yeah. So I hope you're enjoying it as much as I am. Again, I'm looking around at the bike. Even at this stage, and I'm seeing as a modeler where I would really like to go back in and just hone some of the detail just a tad so I'm not going to get engrossed in that at this stage but just to let you know it will happen so I am a bit of a, a detail freak and I think it's worth doing so I'm going to love and leave you there. Um, thank you everyone for watching. Thank you all for your continued support on the channel and also on the Patreon. It really, really is massively, massively, massively appreciated and I can't thank you all enough. Keep an eye out for the Buddy Builders Sunday Brunch every Sunday 12.30 till 2.30 with me and my mate Dave over at Model Making Dave's Workshop. Uh, until then, thanks for watching. I look forward to seeing you all in the next episode. Bye-bye for now. Bye. Brum, 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 brum. Aww.